All right, guys. Today we're going to be uh, going out and check on the ducks, take a look at the rabbits, and then we're going to come in and we got to transplant these guys here. Some tomatoes and some peppers that are getting a little too big and a little too crowded in their single cells. So you can see that they're getting their true leaves, their first set of true leaves, which are those right there. And you can see there's four or five in each cell. So we got to get those separated out and planted into bigger pots. All right. Let's head outside first though. All right guys, today we're gonna be transplanting some tomatoes and peppers. All right guys, we checked out the chickens, or chickens, ducks and the rabbits. So we've got everything set up here. Gonna pre-moisten the soil. We got our seedlings, separate all them out. We got Cooper over there, hopefully not falling and breaking something. So let's get busy. All right. Now you can see we have several in each cell. Just gonna do, pop it out. Just like that. And we're gonna break that apart. You just wanna be gentle with it. You don't wanna disrupt the roots, but too much, but tomatoes are pretty hardy, so that's a good thing. Just gently tease the roots apart. Now I'm just gonna lay them all out like this, and then I'll plant them all at one time. So we'll go ahead and get this, the rest of these in the last two cells, poured it out, and we'll plant them in the pots. All right guys, now we got all of them separated. Now I want to plant in the pots. All right, all I'm gonna do, take your pot, these are three inch, just make a hole in the center of it, because these are kind of leggy plants. But with tomatoes, those hairs on the stem, those will all be roots. So I'm gonna plant them probably right up to about maybe there. All right, now once you got all the holes poked in your the bigger potting pots, I'm just gonna take the tomato, roots and all. Try not to bend the stem, but I'm gonna put it right, right up to the top, just like that. Because all those hairs on the tomato plant stems will turn into a root system. It'll be a really, really strong plant. That's how you deal with leggy plants. Well, tomatoes anyway. All right, now um, you can do the same with peppers. However, they're not gonna have those hairs that turn into stems, but it will provide a stronger support system. But you gotta be careful. Some plants, they'll cause the um, vine to rot and then your plant dies, so no good. But tomatoes and peppers, you're okay to do it this way. Little tip for you guys, once you got your dirt mixed up with your water, just shake it. Shake and bake chicken. And for the most part, it coats the dirt pretty good. And you got that moist dirt, planting pot, planting soil you need. I didn't count how many total, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot. Uh, those are just all my tomatoes. I haven't started the peppers yet. 
I'm gonna do the peppers tomorrow. My back is killing me. It is time to go in, relax, and have a cup of coffee. So, I hope you guys stick around. Um, gardening season is just getting kicked off. This is really exciting to me. Maybe not to some of you, but to me it is. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And also, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It helps promote my videos, get them out there more, and, find, and let more people find them that would want to watch them. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching, appreciate your time, and we'll catch you in the next one.